What's up guys? Do you remember me testing the magnetic wireless power bank almost a year ago? You know, I still use it with my iPhone. This is probably the most convenient power bank that I ever had. Now, Wigger company has released another interesting solution for the charging your mobile devices. It is not a wireless power bank, but it has a very compact size. It also supports 20 watts fast charging. However, even these are not the main features of the new power bank, but the charging station. You can use it to charge three mini power banks. By the way, I have a charging station with three power banks for iPhones, as well as a power bank with a USB Type-C connector for Android devices. However, you can also buy a charging station with three power banks for Android devices, or even a separate charging station without power banks. I will leave the links to Amazon in the description under the video. Ok, let's do an unboxing and then see how it works. So we have a charging station and a power bank. They are sold separately. First, let's take a look at the power bank. We can see on the box that it has 5000 mAh power capacity, 20 watts Type-C output, portable size and LED indicator. There is also a specification list on the back. Inside the box are there a power bank, USB-C to USB-A cable and a user manual. If we talk about the charging station, I have a model V0556P V003. It is designed for the iPhones because the power banks have lighting connectors. Inside the box are there a charging station, three power banks and a user manual. You know, the only difference between the power bank for iPhones and the power bank for Android devices is a connection. One of them has a lighting connector, while the other comes with USB Type-C. Size and weight are the same – 78 by 48 by 25 mm and 91 grams. The power bank has a Wigger logo and LED indicator on the front and power button on the side. By the way, the body is made of plastic, but it has a nice texture. When it comes to the design of the charging station, it is made of the same materials and it has the same texture as the power banks. There are also Wigger logo and LED indicator on the front. The charging station has three USB Type-C connectors, so it supports charging three power banks. By the way, the size of the charging station is not much larger than the power bank itself, so it can also be called portable. It is 125 by 60 by 48 mm. The weight is 185 grams. You should also know that the charging station supports both iPhone and Android power banks. I really like the versatility of a bigger charging station and power banks. I think it is a great solution for office, hotel or restaurant. Now let's talk a little about specifications. You know, the power bank for iPhones and power bank for Android devices have the same input and output power. They support a maximum input power of 18 watts, so it takes 1.5 hours to fully charge the power bank at the station. As for the output power, it is 20 watts. The manufacturer promises to charge the iPhone up to 60% in just half an hour. I want to check it out. So now my iPhone has a 30% of battery charge. Let's plug in, in the power bank and start the timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the battery level of my smartphone is 72%. I think if the iPhone had zero battery, it would probably charge to 60% in 30 minutes. So the charging is really fast. In my opinion, the new bigger charging station and power banks are good for an office, hotel or a restaurant, because you can offer a power bank to your customers. You will never forget to recharge the power bank, because it is always on the charging station when not in use. I also like that the charging station is suitable for the power banks with lighting and USB-C connectors, so you don't need to buy a separate station. However, for personal use, I found the wireless power bank to be more convenient, because you can just attach it to the back of your smartphone. What kind of power bank would you choose? Write in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!